In this video, we're gonna to start to talk about targets. Targets are the piece that you specify where you want your workflows or actions to run. So within targets, you can see that there are two options. You can specify a target, which is under targets here, and that is where you specify a single target, or you can specify target groups that allow you to run the workflow on multiple targets. So for right now, we're just gonna specify a single target. So the way that you do this is you just go to the new target button here. You pick the target type. In this case, we'll do an HTTP endpoint because that's really the most common. Any kind of REST interface that you're gonna to connect to is gonna be an HTTP endpoint. So right now all I gotta do is give it a name. So I'll give it new HTTP endpoint. Uh, you can give it a description. I'm going to decline to do that right now. Uh, and you give it an account key. If you don't want account keys, then you could say no account keys equals true. So for things that are unauthenticated, you could select that. Then what you're going to do is add a new account key. So under account key, you could either select basic auth, client certificate auth, or signature authentication for this particular target type. I'm just going to select basic auth, and I'm going to call it new HTTP endpoint key. And what I'll do is I'll create a username. I'll use me and I'll create a password. And once I save that, that saves that password in this particular uh, target. Now I'll specify what type of protocol, whether it be secure or insecure protocol, HTTP or HTTPS. And I'll specify a IP address or name. I'll just make something up. We'll call it rest.cisco.com and I'll say this is over port 80 and I won't give it any path and since it is not secure I don't have to disable server certificate validation. Once I click submit now this target is available for use within any of my workflows. So you'll see that when I create a new workflow here and go into new workflow if I pick something that is a REST target, something that, let's just pick REST or HTTP request as a, uh, as a action here, and I go down to targets, you'll see that I have available now that target I just made. So now I can select new HTTP endpoint, and by default, it'll use those targets default account keys. If I wanted to override it, because maybe I have multiple servers with different account keys, I can select different types of account keys here. And that's about it for setting up a simple target. We'll talk more about targets in later episodes.